Yes. I think one of the biggest things is to, uh, well, first of all, to get the right text. And this is not the first time that I've approached this that way and tried to come up with something, you know, pretty meaty and sophisticated. A well-known author, uh, you know, obviously international author, public domain, by the way, didn't need permission. That's great. <laughs> um, but the other thing is to really know the range of the singers. And I talked to Brian. I went out to the school. We had a great chat together originally. Didn't play any music, just talked. And the students asked me a bunch of questions about things and writing for the music. I heard them sing uh, the Heitzig piece and a couple other things. And, and then asked uh, Brian Blessing, the conductor, the specific questions about the ranges and you know, how many parts you could use and when and all that. And, and in this particular piece, I've tried to provide some variety. So if there's a little hard, harder section with, say, three parts, um, pretty soon it comes back to a unison thing or octaves. And it gives the singers a chance to rest their voice and their brain a little bit. Not much. I know that they have to pay attention all the time, don't they, Brian? But it's it, to provide some variety means the piece isn't, you know, constantly difficult throughout. There's a little, little change and diversion.